up everyone and in today vi today's video I'm gonna be showing everyone on After Effects CS6 how to make like a water wave effect. Uh and I'll give you probably an example of one right now. Let me get one for you. Uh just get one. So unprepared. Does this guy have one? I hope this guy has one. No, he doesn't have one. Whatever. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be showing you guys is... Basically, it's like a circle, whatever you want it to be. And it's like a wave that comes in. Now, you can you can see this in a lot of, of videos. And it's pretty pretty famous... Um, feature super easy to do and this is my first tutorial for you guys on fkn um youtube channel and i hope you guys enjoy the video all right so i'm gonna be starting from like step one all the way to step whatever and helping you throughout the video all right so what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna click new solid and we're just gonna make a background so we're gonna type in ramp Post that in there. Just give me one second. We're gonna make that a radial. I'm gonna pull that down. Alright, now that we have our background done, we're gonna easily now just make a shape. We're gonna find one like the eclipse tool, and we can either go like that. Or we can just go double click it and hold shift and then drag the sides to make it work. And my phone's not ring. Uh, I'm going to pause the video for a second, guys. Hold on. And we're back again. Alright, so like I was saying before. Right when you have the circle ready, let's just click that and we'll just make that white too. Just a little more. Uh, hold shift. Come on. Come on. This is stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Just come on. Right. Uh just there we go. Oh whoops. Alright, so just say we want that to have the wave effect. Now this is what all you have to do. Now you're gonna have to right click it, mask, new mask. And then this is super easy to do. We're gonna click right here, the pen tool, tool, and the shortcut is G. We're gonna click the middle of the circle. We're gonna hold down, and then click the convert vertex tool. We're gonna drag it this way to get this little effect. And then we're gonna get change that back. We're gonna get this side that way and this side that way and that's all you have to do and now to m make the effects come into action now when you do this when you want to edit these lines just click the shape layer and then you can edit it don't click the ma uh, mask that just screw stuff up so this is what you do you're gonna want to click mask path so like we're gonna want it right there. Mass path will be here, and then right here it will be full. Now as you see right there, we don't want it to be like that. We want it to be full. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna extend it out a bit more. 
and just play it. And it's look cool. You can also make like a Pepsi Cola kind of thing with this, and which and to make the cool like uh, effect that I I do most of the time. Uh, let's just rotate this other way. Wait, not working. Click U to show the mass path. You can see the mass path. This time, this color is going to be red. Rotate it. Why aren't you rotating? Alright, so just so you want that way. It's going to be the same thing. See? But if you want it to be like on different sides, you'll have to just create new masks for that because it won't work that way. And we're going to want that to be in the bottom. So it will be that way. And if we move it and we just look at it how it is right now. There you go. It works fine and properly how it's supposed to. Uh, now if you want to learn more about masking, just wait for more videos to come. And I'll teach you a lot more uh, ways to use masking. More advanced users will be able to pick this up quickly. And I mean super quickly. Um, just rotate it. So it matches it up. Match that up. There you go. So now, uh, now when you want to export it, you can just do composition and add to render queen. But I do export add to render queen and then you just set the settings and that'll be another video of when i'm telling you what kind of settings is the best settings to use so yeah that's mostly it guys uh thanks for enjoying the video uh my name is 2d well my name is not 2d but my username is 2d uh i'll see you guys later and, ho and hopefully i'll make another video peace